Did you know that when someone cheats on you, they're doing you a favor? Because when they do something like that, they are letting you know that they're not the right person for you. Let me tell you about sex and the majority of guys. When people say that we're thinking with the wrong head, they're referring to our genitalia. When we have not sexually exerted ourselves in one way or another for a certain duration, we become clouded in the mind when it comes to interacting with those of the opposite or in some cases the same gender. Have you ever heard of a scenario where a woman has just finished having sex with a man and then he tells her to get out? That is a scenario where the little head has gotten what it wants and has given controls back to the big head. From all the information I have gathered in my life, there is nothing saying that masturbation is unhealthy. Just FYI for all the guys out there. In fact, in my perspective, if you masturbate every single day, if not multiple times, you will be less likely to make a stupid decision based off of your little head. In translation, keep the little head happy and preoccupied and it will never take controls of the big head. To most every guy out there who has experienced ejaculator's remorse, you probably know what I'm talking about. For everyone who has been watching for some time, you know that if I cheat, I die. And the reason for that is because my principles and my integrity are so solidified that if I am to violate them in such an extreme way, I no longer have a will to live. With that in mind and me being lucky enough to have the awareness of ejaculator's remorse, I am a very trustworthy person when it comes to relationships. To everyone who has a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife and is watching this video and feels like their spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever is cheating on them, just know something. This is all assumption on your part. It's because you don't trust the other individual regardless of how much trust they've given you. And you need to realize that with your jealousy, you are potentially jeopardizing a very healthy relationship. In my history, I have never cheated on a single person that I've been in a relationship with. So in this, the role I often played was the person who was suspicious of the significant other. And sadly, my suspicions were always correct and I was being cheated on. And what did I do when they were caught cheating? No, I didn't kill the man and no, I didn't and try to murder the woman. I simply broke up with him and kept my distance for some time after. Believe it or not, both her and the guy were doing me a favor. They were telling me that the right person for me is still out there. It obviously was not them. I scratched them off my list and then I continued my journey. Quick side note to all the guys out there who catch their wives or girlfriends cheating on them. Why do you kill the guy? Because the guy is just trying to get some action or whatever. I mean, it's bad to kill either person, but they always seem to go for the guy and let the girl go when the girl is the one who intentionally sabotaged their relationship and basically took a dump on the individual that she was cheating on. That being said, let's talk about love. Some people like to crap all over the word love. Like, for instance, when a fan of a boy band goes, I love you, and they go, yeah, I love you too, person I don't even know. Or a grown man who goes up to a significant other and his children and says, I love you, uh, them not knowing that he has an entirely different family about four miles away. So what is my love exactly? What is love to me? When I say I love someone, I am saying I love you for the person that you are based on the information that you have given me and I will love you forever and ever for the person that I believe you to be in this moment. Whether it is the love of a friend or the love of a girlfriend, I will love them forever and ever regardless of my future relationships. The reason I'm bringing this subject up is because as of late I've been accused of being a deviant mind. And from the information I've gathered, the category of deviance that they seem to be referring to is of a sexual nature. So the reason I was called a deviant is because I love someone that I once dated and I'm a married man. And like I said, because of the fact that I'm married does not change the fact that I love this person just as much as I love them long ago. Because love to me is not sexual. Love to me is you are a very, very important person to me who I have dedicated a part of my soul to. Love is us being forever connected spiritually. I remember I remind you of what head I think with. I remind you of my perfect record having never cheated on anyone. I remind you of the people who have fallen in love with me, falling in love with me for who I am, not who I pretend to be. I remind you that cheating means death for me. And for all the people out there who are suspecting their significant others, whether they cheat or not, they have the right to speak to whoever they wish. I hope you all find that perfect person for you. And I hope that all the people out there who are cheating on their significant others do the right thing and tell them. I hope you realize that sex without love is meaningless. I hope that you soon begin to respect yourself so others will respect you as well. To all the women I've ever loved, I love you now. We are forever connected to each other. Do now what is best for you and your loved ones, and have a wonderful day.